carry that you do with a ring sling. And this is the kind of carry that you're going to use for a baby once they're probably about three months old and they can kind of lift their head up. You'd want to move them into this type of carry and you can use it until you're not wearing them anymore. If you're wrapping or um, slinging a really little baby, you'll just want to have them more centered on your body and directly up and down right on your right up here on your chest and your tummy. So this is Sebastian. He is one and a half and he's about 30 pounds and I wear him comfortably in a ring sling. I'm going to point out the reasons why I find a ring sling comfortable even though I'm wrapping a pretty big baby. So I have the fabric spread out across my shoulder and so the weight, his weight is distributed nice and evenly. It's not, um, it's not riding up too close to my neck. Also, I find that even though it's called a hip carry in a ring sling, you can see that his bum is kind of, it's not totally over on my hip. I find that that way, his weight is um, spread across the fabric going across my back. And I found it to be the most comfortable spot to put him in. So if <clears throat> you're finding it uncomfortable, it might be because you've got your baby really too far over onto your hip and it's putting a lot of pressure and tugging on this part of the ring sling. Also, you'll notice the rings are um, pretty high. They're in the corsage position, uh, just below my shoulder, and that is the most comfortable spot for them, as opposed to being too high, they're going to dig into your collarbone, or if they're too low, uh, it's not as secure, and your baby can kind of lean out. So we're going to go through the steps of getting your baby in the ring sling, and uh, troubleshoot some points that might be causing you some discomfort. The first step in getting your ring sling ready is to thread it, which we've already done. And you can see that the sling, the tail is coming through the rings nice and evenly. There's no twist in the fabric. All right, so put it up over your shoulder. I tend to wear my son on my left hip, so I put this, the sling on my right shoulder, but you can wear it the other way, whatever you prefer. So I've got the sling on, and I like to start and make sure that I've got the rings a little bit higher than I actually want them in the end, because I find that once I get my baby in here, they go down a little bit. So I put them up almost on my shoulder, because I know they're going to they're gonna, um, fall down a little bit. And then you get your baby. Okay, so you've got your baby or your small child ready to go into the sling. What I do is I put him over the shoulder where the rings are. Put his body up over here, hold his bum, and I pull out the pocket here, and I put his feet in. And then once his feet are in, holding his bum with this hand, I sling him back over to this shoulder, and then I reach under and grab his feet. And now this hand is going to hold his bum, and I'm going to pull the fabric up all the way to his shoulders. Now, here is where you can move the fabric if you need to. If you've noticed your sling, your rings are too far down, you can kind of scooch the fabric up. Now you're also going to make the seat. So I'm still holding him with this hand on his thumb, and this hand's going to take the fabric, move his legs apart, and tack the fabric up under his bum so that there's fabric in between my body and his body. And then you sink him down. And I like, even though he puts his arms out eventually, I like to pull up the fabric and have his arms in while I'm adjusting it. Do you want this? Okay, <clears throat> so baby's in. This feels pretty good actually. But I always lift up his bum and grab this and spread it away from my neck and across my shoulders. And I usually pull the bottom and feed it through to make sure that I get it nice and tight. So here you can kind of scooch him over if you need to either way, um, and obviously tighten it if you need to. So something that's nice about ring slings is that they're easy to tighten strand by strand. So if you needed to tighten the top rail, the top rail was too loose, and it looked like that. You don't need to tighten the whole thing, you can actually just pull on the top rail and bring that in. You can also tighten the bottom rail the same way. You just pull out the slack starting on this side. Pull along the bottom, pull it along the seat if you need to, up to here, and if there's any slack, 
you can pull it out this way. You can also tighten and uh, loosen the whole thing by holding the tail, lifting up the top ring and letting it down. So if you're going to nurse, you could do that. And then you can tighten the whole thing by lifting his weight off the fabric. So hold it in your hold the bone in your hands and pull the whole thing. And then you can strand by strand if you need to. Okay, so here he is. And there's several problems with what's going on right now. First is that he's kind of too far over on my hip and kind of loose. And it's actually pulling a lot on my shoulder and neck here. And also, the rings are too low. You can see they're actually right in the middle of my chest, and I want them more up here. So what I do is lift up his bum and reach in underneath, and then pull the fabric up my shoulder. Make his seat again, this time a little bit more centered. And there the rings are better. Also, with holding up his bum, pull the fabric away from my neck and tighten the top a little bit and just check that the fabric is going from his knee to his knee and his knees are higher than his bum. So there you go, a few adjustments made this way more comfortable and secure. Enjoy using your ring sling and it takes a little bit of practice but um, in the end it should be comfortable, you should enjoy wearing your baby and it should make your life easier. Mm -hmm.